Karen Perry's oldest son, Rich, died of a prescription drug overdose in 2003. I was not there to hold his hand on the day that he died, and that breaks my heart. Since then, health officials say abuse of legal drugs, especially pain medicine, has become a dangerous epidemic, killing tens of thousands of people each year. She joined federal officials to announce a crackdown on prescription drug abuse. We must ensure that patients have access to the medications they need while also preventing misuse and abuse. The new plan aims to cut recreational use of addictive prescription drugs by 15 percent within five years. To do it, the U.S. government is asking you to get rid of your unused medicine by throwing it away in plastic bags filled with coffee grounds or kitty litter. As much as 40 percent of all medications go unused, which is more than 1.5 billion doses a year, and that more than half of teens believe prescription drugs are easy to get from their own parents' medicine cabinet. They also plan to crack down on pill mill doctors who prescribe drugs for cash. Although it's a very small number of doctors who abuse their prescribing privileges, they're responsible for an immense amount of the addiction, the suffering, and the deaths. And we have a responsibility to do everything we can to bring these criminals to justice. It's good news for Lyle Campbell, assistant clinical director at Howard University Hospital's emergency department. He's seen the effects of overdose too many times. Anytime the government gets involved with the actual health of the community, that's a good thing. So, um, yeah, let, uh, let's see what it does. I am incredibly optimistic that over this next year, we are going to make a big dent in this problem. In Washington, Sylvia Hall, Medill for McClatchy.